Hey everyone, Wind Knight here. Welcome to Wind's Replay Chrono Cross. Uh, so I've been having not issues per se, but I'm not really liking my schedule <laughs> uh, so far recently. Uh, I won't be streaming at all this week, which you probably already know. Oops. There we go. It feels like it takes a while for the the menuing to occur. Uh, I'm gonna go with Surge, the default name, because if I call him anything else, I'm gonna refer to him as Surge. So I might as well just cut the middleman and call him Surge. Uh, anyways, uh, I, I just I won't be. I I don't think I'll be streaming as frequently. Uh, these next coming days or weeks perhaps we'll see mostly because my schedules are all on a weekly basis instead of bi-weekly bi-weekly uh, every two weeks yeah uh, so instead I'm gonna be doing recordings whenever I get a whenever I have free time that way we can I can upload those and you'll have some content um, at least until the next stream that you know next time I stream what is this what is it Serge you look troubled this is it there's no turning back now boy come on Serge Greco just you wait Lynx today is gonna be the day of reckoning say your prayers not that it'll do you any good <laughs> Surge. This this intro, no matter how many times you play it, the third character, in this case Greco, uh, will almost always be different. Uh, this is like the third recording attempt I'm doing at Chrono Cross because the first time uh, I was having some audio issues near the end. And I wasn't able to salvage that, so I figured I'd scrap the whole thing. And the second time around, my audio was a lot lower than I had wanted, you know, than I expected. Uh, so hopefully this will be, you know, the one that goes up. <laughs> you'll, you'll know if it's not because I'll be having, most likely be having the same conversation on the next attempt. Uh, and each, each time I've done the first part, I always finish uh, right before uh, Opasa Beach or uh, a little before I jump into the Lizard Rock uh, North End. So, because I feel like like 30, 40 minutes are kind of alright, especially for RPG games. So that's what I'll try to aim for, uh, for a lot of the parts. If I'm, at, if I'm ever at a, at a point where it's going around that mark and I'm going to go past it, I'll just stop where I'm at. And then, you know, since I'm recording, I can just continue on... And the next one for you guys it'll be like a day or so but for me it'll be like a couple of minutes <laughs> oi what the bloody hell just happened what are we doing out here wow bugger we're so high up is this thing floating Did it feel like your body passed through the floor just now? It sure is some fort. Hey, Serge. You alright, mate? You've been acting all weird. Who knows what's up ahead? So just stay on your toes, eh? Yeah, the third character is the same generic dialogue, no matter who it is. <laughs> oh, man.
Yeah. Uh, so uh, what I was going to say is I'll try not to like talk during the cutscenes. Uh, mostly because uh, they're I really like them. They're really good. The the first one is fine because it's just showing you know an overhead of the location you're in. You're in this one not so much. You kind of get little flashes of stuff. So I'm gonna try my best to do that. Uh, whereas in streams I kind of try not to talk during cutscenes and stuff. But, you know, then chat starts talking, then I can't ignore them. <laughs> so, at least I have more, more freedom to do that during recordings. Because, you know, hey, some people want to want to enjoy, like, the cutscenes and stuff, even though it's a uh, Let's Play. Good morning, Surge. You're finally up. The sun's already reached high noon. By the way, didn't you have plans to meet with Lena this morning? Lena came by to see if you were up, but you, young man, were still off in Never Never Land. You shouldn't break promises like that. Girls can be pretty scary if you make them angry. She's right, you know. <laughs> oh, and then, yeah, welcome to the village of, uh, Anri. Anri? Anry, I think. <laughs> Yo, Surge, what do you think of this sawfish? Have you ever seen one this size? Ha! This has got to be from the legendary Dragon King Palace. Wouldn't you agree, Surge? I'll just indulge him. You think so, too? I knew it. I just knew it. If it really is true, then from here on out, happiness will be rolling into my life. Business will pick up, money will start pouring in, <sighs> I'll be able to repair my roof, varnish my boat, buy a new sail, eat as much squid gut pasta as I want up in Termina. Ah, life is good. <laughs> yeah, right. Who am I kidding? That would definitely be too good to be true. Well, thanks anyway, Serge. <laughs> thanks for playing along. Here's a little something for you. Give it to a girl you like. See the Komodo scale without lifting a finger. I wish the legend I wish the legend was true though. The Dragon King Palace. There aren't enough there aren't enough dreams out there lately. Huh. No, there isn't. Why hello there, Serge. Can I interest you in something? I have some great elements. Would you like to take a look? Yes, I would. Show me your elements. All right, so we're gonna get we're gonna get an aqua beam and a fireball. Uh, actually, no, we'll get two of these. I think we'll get a a couple of fireballs on the way um, soon enough. I just gotta talk to this barrel. <laughs> so for the most part, I'm just gonna go through the game. Uh, what do you want already? Set him a barrel. Fine, just take it, man. Here, just leave me alone. <laughs> I'll just go through as just not as quickly as possible. I'll just most likely I'll just go through, you know. I'll just breeze through some areas because I've played this game multiple times. I love it. Uh, one thing I have, which I don't know uh, if it's over or not, I posted up the other day on Twitter, which I will put on this in the description of the video on uh, whether or not I should get Glenn. Now, when I streamed the game previously, I. I got Glenn. I went through the path with Nikki. And what else? I think those were the only two major crossroads. 
So this time around, I'm going to pick a different route to the Viper's Manor. And the whole Glen thing, I'm going to leave that up to you guys. So it's not my decision and, you know, whatever happens, happens. <laughs> it's in your hands. Uh, unless it's already been voted, unless it's already done, in which case, oh well. <laughs> You guys didn't know. It's okay. It's my bad. My fault. Uh, hey, Sergi, do you know what's popular among the village girls these days? A necklace made from Komodo dragon scales. You know, those monsters that eat fire? I want to get some for Kiki, but there's no way I can beat those monsters. Oh, no. If I don't do something about this now, Kiki might start liking Lolo. Boy, am I in a fix. Hey, look, I got something for you. Oh, wait a minute, Sergi. Is that a Komodo dragon scale? No way, is it real? Uh, Sergi, how about giving it to me? Please? Pretty please? Oh, come on, Sergi. I won't ask another favor for the rest of my life. Now, please. Sure, kid. Here you go. R really? Y you sure? Yes. All right. Thanks a million, Sergi. Here. Let me give you this. Put it to good use, okay? Uplift. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Do you know what Poshul's favorite food in the whole entire world is? Heckman bones. She'd do anything to get her paws on one. She'd obey your every command if you give her one. Thanks for that, kid. Speaking of Heckman bones, that's exactly what I've got. And Poshul is right over here. Yeah, we're not going to talk to the uh, the old man, because he'll, uh... that's okay, kid, I know the secret. Uh, he's going to give us a tutorial on the, on the battle system, but it's very lengthy. I'll try to go through it uh, as best as I can, so you guys can kind of understand how it goes, uh, if you haven't played the game. Oh, hi, Sergi Poo. Me, I'm a bit busy right now. Have you already met up with Lena? Me thinks she was by the pier. Well, you're gonna come with me. Ah, I is that a Hecron bone? Sergi Poo, a p p present f f for I? How'd you know? Hmm, to accept or not to accept? Ahem, me accept your present and me shall help you. Me will do anything you want. Me will be honored to be by your side. Me will use my pretty miracle power X. Me will do it, Sergi Poo. Thanks, Poshul. Poshul. I think it's Poshul. That doesn't matter. <laughs> Either way, someone's gonna correct me. Um, <laughs> it's uh, a Poshul, you pleb. <laughs> Oh, uh, that, that, that's one thing you'll know about me. I'm not good at pronouncing things properly. Or even if I try, it's not as, it's not so good. <laughs> but I do my best. You're late, Surge. Sleeping in as, sleeping in as usual, I suppose. You promised you'd go get some Komodo dragon scales for my necklace, remember? Since you were late, my mom asked me to babysit the kids. Woohoo! Sergi, Lena, look at me. Yes, nice kick. <laughs> Come on, you, sh you guys should join us. It feels really good. Unlike the rest of you, we're not here to play. Don't swim out too far now. Okay, gotcha. Kids sure have it easy. Remember, remember when we were like that? Not a single care or worry on our minds. How each day lasted an eternity filled with newness, fun, and excitement. But the important thing now is not our childhood, but my Komodo scale necklace. Yes, 
You have to face up to reality and live and live each day anew. So, I want you to go to Lizard Rock and get some scales for me. I would join you, but I still have to watch the kids. It's your fault. You were late. Once you collect Komodo Dragon scales, I'll catch up with you at Opasa Beach. Is that okay with you, Surge? <laughs> yes, no problem. Good. That's what I wanted to hear. Okay, then. Don't just stand around. Go collect some scales at Lizard Rock. Let's see. I think three should be enough. Good luck, Surge. I'm counting on you. <coughs> well, no problem, Lena. With, uh... Poshal here. Poshal? With Poe here. We'll, uh... We'll get those Komodo scales lickety-split. At least, that's the plan. Let me just go to Cape Hal to get some, uh, some, some items. Like a heal element and a... Uh... Okay. <laughs> a bone. Alright. Don't worry your pretty little faces. We will engage in combat soon enough. We've got a couple of uh, mandatory fights anyways. It's so one thing I like about Chrono Cross. The enemies are in the, you know, you can see them. It's not random encounters. Which isn't a problem, but some RPG games have a insane uh, amount of random encounters that appear. It's it's nuts. It's even worse when they have a dash function, and that makes it ha occur even even more. Looking at you, Final Fantasy IV. <laughs> Which is my favorite RPG game of all time. <clears throat> well, my favorite Final Fantasy game of all time. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Now, <laughs> in my excitedness, eagerness, I forgot about the combat system. So, as you saw Surge do, I did three fierce attacks. Uh, this is your strongest. Duh, because it's fierce. Uh, but it has low a low hit rate. Uh, this is your medium attack, which is a little better, and your weak attack, which has the highest hit rate. Uh, once you do successive attacks, your hit rate will increase, but your stamina will decrease based on which attack you used. So with Surge, I used three fierce attacks. His stamina went down to one. Uh, whenever you land an attack, your element bar on uh, the green number uh, goes up based on which attack you used. Surge landed a level 3 hit or a fierce attack so it went up by 3. Surge only has 2 elements bars right now so it only went up 2. <laughs> uh, when using an element it consumes all of your stamina in Surge's case, since he only has one, it goes to the negative. When that happens, it will take a little longer for Surge to get back into action. Luckily, having your other party members attack will increase the stamina uh, recovery based on whatever attack you landed and missed. Uh, what you don't want is to be in this type of situation where you have low stamina for all your party members. A little guard will fix that. And reduce incoming attacks. That's always a plus. And gone. <laughs> 
Uh, that's pretty much the basicness of the combat system. Uh, once we get into elements and field elements and a lot of other stuff. <laughs> uh, but don't worry, we'll cover elements in this next battle. If I had a equipped uh, surge with the appropriate <coughs> excuse me with the appropriate element no worries let's build up some uh, elements shall we now uh, look closely every enemy and character has an innate of an innate element blue red green yellow black and white these all have blue surge <clears throat> sorry i don't know <laughs> oh i'm losing my voice it's not good surge is a white innate uh partial is a yellow innate so their attacks will be more effective against a black innate and a green innate care enemy respectively now with you know beach bum you want to use a fire element or sorry red element <laughs> it's essentially fire but we'll stick with colors uh, unfortunately I don't have any to kind of show you <laughs> I forgot uh, but we'll do that for the next well we don't have to uh, essentially, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, whenever you attack with uh, the opposing elements, you will do more damage uh, to the enemy. So if we had used Fireball, we would do damage to the enemy. Not only that, using Cure One as an example, the field effect changes as well. Every every color goes up or goes out one level uh, when the whole field is one color if you use a, another element of that same color it will get an attack boost likewise if you use an element of the opposing color ie if I use the red element instead of a blue one the attack will be weakened So you can kind of set up strategies where if your opponent will use a strong fire uh, a strong red element on his turn, you could spend your turns making the field blue and thereby reducing the damage you will take. It's kind of cool how uh, you can strategize a bunch of things. It's a somewhat simple. Uh, system, but it can also be a bit complicated. I know I had no idea what I was doing the first time I played the game. <laughs> but once you play it enough times, you kind of get the, you get the hang of it, you get the gist of it, and it's all good. So now we gotta catch this Komodo. <laughs> I wanted to avoid the beach bomb. The the great thing about Chrono Cross is you don't have to fight every single enemy. But you do get benefits for attacking for winning victories besides the, you know, money and stuff. Oh boy, you know what? I'm just going to run. <laughs> We'll let you live this time. Uh, some some victories will grant you uh, some growths, so your stats will increase a bit. Uh, and then once you do a major fight, uh, you will your growth will increase by one, 
And then the next couple of battles, your stats will increase uh, slightly. Uh, I'll show you what I mean when we get to that actual uh, part. Oh, cool. <laughs> I thought I was going to, you know, touch him. Like that. You can actually kind of go through him if he hadn't moved and if I was quick enough. Oh, a crit. Yeah, that's one thing you're gonna... Well, I enjoy. I enjoy the sounds the crits make. It sounds very satisfying. Like, nowadays, crits don't really sound so great. Uh, but, like, back then, ooh, you could just feel the, the impact a critical hit makes. Like, plus, you'll see big numbers, and that's always a wonderful thing. Alright, so let's go ahead and catch our little Komodo pup. Uh, of course. I was off. <laughs> uh, it just... Oh, you just grazed him. Oh, you hate to see that happen. <laughs> Hopefully, it's not in a... We're not in a position where we're gonna fight him again. Like, jump right into the battle. Okay, good. Yeah, it, you... No matter what, you get a guarantee... Uh... Escape. Oh, come on, he was... He's right there. <laughs> That's weird. I can move move uh, during that. Okay. Yeah, here's one thing. You can run away from anything. And, like, you know, there's, like, no consequences whatsoever. Uh, well, besides the, you know... Um, whatever happens in battle you know, stays, so if you were damaged in battle and you run away, you will still retain that battle damage. Uh, ha ah, gosh dang it. Okay. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time trying to catch that Komodo pup. It's weird. Uh, but anyway, so you can run away from anything. Uh, some boss fights will either... Uh, have you exit the fight so you can go to your menu. Uh, I couldn't move. I'm just going to fight him. <laughs> I was not able to move at all. Uh, that's unfortunate. Let's just take care of these beach bums. Lickety split. Oops. I forgot to do that. Uh, so right now it's in auto. So the the game will automatically switch the the cursor to whatever attack you want it it wants to have you do. I don't want that. What if I want to do three uh, weak attacks in a row? 
I can't because it's gonna take me out of there. Ugh, okay. This is the one. I can feel it in my bones. Ugh! <laughs> it's... Okay. It's fine. We got one more... One more shot. Mm, before I lose it. <laughs> oh man, the... <clears throat> the other two recording attempts I did with this, uh... I got him by the third try. <laughs> I hate the positioning of this. There. Oh my god. It's okay. This will be the one. This will be the longest one. This will be the longest video. <laughs> Solely because of this. There we go. Th there's there's no delay on the on the jumps or anything. My timing is just very bad. That's all it is. Yeah, I'm <laughs> I, I tend to just do fierce attacks like nobody's business. Because it's it's high risk, high reward. And I like that. Although there will be times where I will want to not just obsessively punch the uh X button on a level on a fierce attack. <laughs> There's there are times when I would want to build up my hit percentage and then you know go nuts. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the enemies can can uh can uh engage in combat with you. If you are in a text box, like so. <laughs> if I didn't mash out of that uh, fast enough, I would have fought that beach bum. And whatever else he brings, whatever friends he brings to the table. Ooh, wonderful. And then we'll just have Poshul take this one out. Poshul. I think it's Poshul. Yeah, once you fight the third Komodo pup, uh, Mama Komodo comes out to play. But it's okay. We got this. When, when, back when I streamed uh, Chrono Cross, I had Chrono... Not Chrono. <laughs> I had Surge all by his lonesome. Uh, and it's not its not too difficult of a, of a fight. It, it's just a little longer. Because of the, you know, the healing. Yeah, see, it, it's fine. Heal, aqua, no, no, it's fine, we don't. We'll heal after the battle.
You gotta let Poshul end the fight. Because Poshul is the strongest there is. <laughs> Yeah, Poshul is very, uh, very tanky, uh, at least physical, physically, uh, one element, one good element, and he's, he's out, or she's out. Sorry, Poshul, Poshul, <laughs> Poshul, we now have three Komodo Thales, uh, let's get moving to Opatha Beach and wait for Lena. Yeah, uh, it doesn't, like, I, I, I will n never refer to a character. <laughs> well, not never. I'll, I'll tend to forget. Uh, I'll always say he, because I always default to that. Get a bone. I, 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 I'm not sure why, I just default to that. Like, even though I know they're a female, I'll just default to he. <laughs> okay. So, I think we're good. Hopefully. It all depends if this goes up. <laughs> uh, but we're good. Uh, so that'll be it for for this part. Uh, on the next video, on the next part, we'll uh, we'll head to Opasa Beach and meet up with Lena and give her her give her her Komodo necklace, and then you know we'll let the chips fall where they lie. <laughs> All right, thanks guys for hanging out. I appreciate it, and I will see you guys on the next part. Take it easy.